Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Isa Wiley here. We are doing a 20 minute Pilates core focus with weight. So if you're ready, grab a quick sip of water, grab your weight and let's do it. We are coming to the front of the mat. Ah, feet open, hips width apart, lengthen the spine, take a big inhale. Like you really want to grow tall here, right? So someone's pulling your head, you're lengthening. You're just looking beautiful. Hmm, give me that inhale on the exhale, out through the lips, you just crumble down a little bit. And again, inhale, you're gonna lengthen here. Exhale, you crumble down. Make sure there's no tension, there's no tension in your neck and shoulders, right? So we're literally lengthening here, boom. Exhale, release, and lengthen, boom. Exhale, release, and lengthen, up. And we're gonna hold it, exhale, we're gonna lengthen the arms here. We're just gonna take the arms up. Hopefully they fit in the camera, yes they do. Uh, up here and then down. So here I want you to feel like you're carrying something really heavy. Make sure you're not pushing back, you're sitting tall right on top of your bum. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. So the arms are going up here, not directly above your head, slightly forward. Again, you're carrying a ball, so you keep the shape, your arms have the shape of the ball, right? And uh, it's a fairly heavy ball, so you have to engage your core. Nice little classic Pilates exercise here to find that alignment, that core connection. Looks really easy, but when it's done properly, you feel a little burn. <laughs> Inhaling and exhaling, keep going. Let's work those arms a little bit before we grab the weight. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, sitting really tall, a long neck. A couple more. Last one. Hold it here, nice. Inhale, roll halfway back. Gonna hold it, you're gonna twist to the right to the left, middle, and forward. And hold to the right, inhale. Exhale, forward, lengthen, let's go. Forward, couple more. Boom, middle, roll, forward. Hold it, take an inhale, hold it. Belly button in, extend those arms, palms facing the ceiling. Exhale, lengthen and release. Grab your weights, put them on each side of the mat. Right by your hips and then you gotta roll down nice and slow. All right, bring your feet closer to your bum, take an inhale, roll your hips up into the bridge nice and slow. Exhale, bring it down. And again, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, really articulating through that spine. We're getting your spine warm, more flexible, so make sure you're not moving in a block, right? You're like a leaf, you're peeling off the mat. You're peeling that spine off the mat. Like, Very soft. Last one here and we stay here hmm. inhaling and exhaling checking our alignment toes are facing the front feet directly under the knees inhaling and exhaling glutes are tight let's go heels up and down nice and slow your hips on the same level. Nice, hold the last one up, push your hips a little bit higher. I'm gonna hold it here for a couple of eights.
heels down slowly roll your hips down well done knees into your chest squeeze them in stretch the hips stretch the hamstrings i'm feeling a little tight today yesterday i did a 30 minute heat class it was really good just picked one here on on youtube and uh, i'm feeling it today my ass is feeling it my legs are feeling it okay so grab your weights let's do this we kind of warm let's go grab your weights have them together interlock your fingers take your arms up to the ceiling right here we're gonna go back into that bridge as you bring the weights closer to you you're gonna take your hips up into the bridge let's go So in this one, you're not peeling the spine off. You just pick up your hips and drop them back down. But make sure you're not arching that lower back. You're dropping back into a slight imprint. Couple more. Hold the last one here. A few seconds. <clears throat> and release. Keep the weight in your hands. We're going into that tabletop. Toes pointed, arms up. Separate the arms and we're gonna scissors the arms while we here. So left arm back, right arm forward, nice and slow while you're holding the tabletop. So this, you're of course working your arms, but because the weight are fairly heavy, depending on what you're using, I'm using 1.5 kilo on each. Um, your core, you're gonna feel that core connection, right? You're really gonna feel it. So keep the core connection. Don't let your rib cage pop up, right? Hold, 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 nice and tight. one nice and we're back here this time we're going to turn the fingers facing the front we're going to flex the foot inhaling and exhaling and we're just holding it still all right we're going to tap the heels down as you tap or reach your heels down you're going to bend the elbows and push back up right here right tap elbows down boom tap the heels down push it up now you can do this one leg at a time if you're a beginner and again remember your basics of Pilates you don't have to go all the way down with the heels if your lower back is coming off the imprint you just stop halfway with the legs again adapt it to your level adapt it to your strength if you've got any injuries be aware really never it's never about pushing and pilates right we're building form we're building strength but the priority is our well-being is our body feeling good feeling strong and being really really safe let's go for a few more Last one, straight away, extend the legs, keep the arms here, straight up, gonna keep the toes together, we're gonna clap the heels, let's go. Let's go. Keep your legs extended as max as you can. Lower back is imprinted, let's go. Five, six, 
six, seven, hold. Flex the foot, push the heels up towards the ceiling. Bring the hands together with the knuckles touching. Right leg down, weights back. Exhale up. Same leg, five times. Was that five? I'm, a, I'm such a terrible counter because I actually don't count on the other side. Left leg. So inhale to reach back and down with that leg. Exhale to bring it back up. Last one. Now we hold. Now we go again with the clap of the heel. So basically here, have a quick look. This is what I'm doing, right? Okay, let's go. Boom. Let's go. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, and hold. Flex the feet again, and we go back again. Right leg down, arms back. One, and back. We go for eight this time just to cover myself because <laughs> I feel like five is not enough <laughs> so inhaling to reach exhaling to bring it back oops last one nice back to the claps let's go keep the legs as extended as you can have them feet always above the hips Nice, all right, other side, left leg, eight. Last one. Nice, keep the legs here a few more seconds with the weights as well, inhaling and exhaling. If your legs are shaking, don't worry, it's normal, it happens. Keep inhaling and exhaling, deep inhaling through your nose, exhale out through your lips. Very slowly release the weights down. Bend your knees, drop your feet down, push your hips up into your bridge, release, 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 release. here in the bridge keep pushing the hips up stretching them out a little bit and very slowly put your hips down and push up into a seated position all right we're back here we're gonna grab the weight and we're simply gonna bring them up and down why oh, I just caught my hair in the camera okay boom All right, again, nice and strong posture here, sitting tall, right, looking right in front of you. Let's work those arms a little bit. And we're gonna bring them here, knuckles together. From here, take them up. And as you bring them down, you're gonna roll away. And forward, and roll. And da da da, nice and slow. So, real quick one, something I see all the freaking time is this, right? Going this way. We don't want to go that way. We're rolling the hips away. So here, bam, right? See my hips. The movement is happening here. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, roll back. We're getting. Go a little bit slower, don't rush it. Last one, hold it here. 
and then just give me five arms. Just reach to a diagonal here. Boom. Hold last one. And roll back down. Well done. All right, push your hips back up again. Quick break here. Stretch those hip flexors out. And release. All right, give me a cheeky little diamond. We're gonna finish here with a diamond. So knees together, toes together, nice and pointed. And we're gonna open here into the diamond. We're gonna reach our arms through the diamond here. And we're gonna hold it here, inhaling and exhaling. So just hold the legs, inhaling and exhaling. While we're holding the legs, challenging ourselves, taking the weights back, exhale through. And back, exhale through. If you want to add a little extra challenge here, you can come into a crunch and back. You'll feel the work as well, it's a little extra challenge. But if you more want to work your core stability, right, and the arms keep your head down, it's just two very different things. I know you're thinking, really? <laughs> but it is. So, Try them both. <clears throat> Through the diamond. We're gonna hold the arms straight up here. And we're gonna extend the legs into a diagonal inhale. Exhale, diamond, bring the arms back through. So you go here, full extensions, arms to the ceilings, legs into a diagonal, exhale, back into the diamond. Oof. Keep your imprint, right? Keep your imprint, very important. Keep your imprint, keep your imprint. And again. Couple more. Last one. Let's see if we can hold it here. If you're feeling brave, give me a few scissors. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. If you're just holding, hold again. One more eight. <laughs> well done. Bring your knees into your chest. Woo! I felt that one. Damn, girl. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it one more time because it feels really, really good. That one, really good. Alright, let's go straight into it. Last exercise. Knees together, toes together, open diamond, reach your arms through the diamond, fully extended, lock your fingers together for extra support, okay? All right, let's do this. Last one, extend arms up to the ceiling or slightly back behind you. A little back behind you, it's a little bit more challenging. We're really building that core strength, that core stability, lengthening our bodies, Whew. sculpting those arms, damn it, girl. <laughs> I'm feeling the shake in my arms now. <sighs> Give me two more. <sighs> Last one, keep your arms up, and we cross this girl. One and two and three and four. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. And again, cross and hold. Oh my god! And release. Hey. That last one, my lower back was a little bit off the imprint, so I can feel it pulling a bit. All right, well done. Bring your knees to your chest. And just rock side to side. Hmm. Rock forward, let's quickly come into a quick cat stretch to release the lower back if there's any tension like me right now. So come into a cat here on the inhale and then exhale out. And again. And then exhale. And then just give me like here, like, a little circle ooh, of the hips. 
Mm. Or whatever you want to do here. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, stretch that upper body, stretch the arms, because we've worked them quite a fair amount. Take a big inhale, exhale. Sit on your heels, and then let's push up those hips. Ooh. And release down. Nice one, well done. Thanks for moving with me today. If you enjoyed this class, I'm gonna put the link into a series of classes that are pretty much like these. We work with the weight, toning and energizing. They're great for you to check out in the link in the bio. So much love for you. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Bisous, I'll see you in the next class.